That's right. Roa, welcome in Egypt. Uh, Abir, welcome in Egypt. And um, we look forward to listening to what you have to say about imaging of granulomatous mastitis. The stage is yours. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here. Uh, I will present my, uh, one of our case reports. It is about idiopathic granulomatous mastitis as a mimic of breast cancer. This is our hospital in Bahrain. Uh, this is the main building for our hospital, and this is uh, the Royal College uh, uh, University and uh, the oncology center we are working with. Uh, so I will start with our case presentation. Uh, we are presented with a uh, uh, 58 years old female. She presented with about one month history of left suppressed periarular mast. Uh, on examination, the clinician uh, has felt about three by three centimeter lesion. It is periarular in location. There is no associated skin changes, no neighbor retraction, and the axilla looks fine. There is no lymph node enlargement. Uh, she has no specific history for tuberculosis or breast trauma or any family history of breast cancer. Uh, this is her CC view for the left suppressed, uh, from which uh, we can appreciate. Uh, uh, sorry, a pointer that we have here. Uh, uh, a microlopulated mass lesion seen in relation to the outer part of uh, uh, the left to press. It is, uh, looks like it is microlopulated, partially defined. There is no suspicious uh, calcification, and there is no associated lymph node enlargement also in the mammogram. This is her ultrasound image, uh, from which we can appreciate that there is a microlopulated uh, micro uh, outline. Uh, sorry, your mouse is not working. Uh, so this is the outline. There is a partial shadowing scene related to it. There is no associated suspicious calcification or lymph node enlargement in the ultrasound. Uh, from these images, uh, we, are, we get confused about is it uh, like, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, is it press carcinoma? or it is like uh, a penine lesion, like a fibromadenoma, but with atypical appearance. This is her color-coded Doubler study, and there is a hypervascularity within and around the lesion. Uh, so the imaging feature is a suspicion for atypical fibroadenoma or carcinoma, and the ultrasound-guided core biopsy was done and uh, performed, and uh, the core biopsy come up as idiopathic granulomatous mastitis. Uh, there is no evidence of malignancy still. And the patient was treated conservatively and advised to make a repeat of the imaging in about two months. And uh, she came after two months and she was clear and there is no evidence of any lesion. So I will give a uh, quick uh, review about the granulomatous mastitis. The granulomatous mastitis, it is a rare inflammatory breast disease that mimics breast carcinoma and the clinical and radiological imaging. We have two types. Uh, when there is no any underlying lesion or any specific history, uh, like any cause, uh, we call it as an idiopathic granulomatous mastitis. If it is related to specific lesion like TB, sarcoidosis, or uh, fungal infection, and there is some literature uh, relate uh, the high prolactin level to the uh, to a specific granulomatous mastitis. Uh, our case here is idiopathic granulomatous mastitis, and the exact uh, etiology will not known. Uh, sometimes it is a factor related to hormonal imbalance, smoking, uh, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, high prolactin level, uh, or there is no any specific cause uh, we can see. In clinical examination, we usually see that it is a clinical as a tender or not tender mass. It is fixed or mobile. Some people have a skin changes, some others. So it is a diagnostic challenge and uh, it can be misdiagnosed as a carcinoma. This is a quick image for uh, how the color changes can be seen, uh, how uh, the clinically it can be seen. It can be in the color changes or mass pain or an open wound with a draining sinus, and this is uh, the real image for the same uh, value. Uh, radiologically, it can be either of uh, asymmetrical ill-defined nodularity or it is a normal imaging. Uh, this is image from literature in which there is asymmetry between the two images and it is more apparent on the right side with microlipulation and ill-definition. 
Ultrasound finding is different, can be well demarcated, heterogeneous appearance, can be with increased or decreased vascularity, can have a draining sinus on the skin or normal ultrasound imaging. These are uh, an examples from literatures representing the different appearance for the breast cancer, uh, for the idiopathic granulomatous mastitis. Uh, the first uh, image, it is a microlopulated and uh, irregular outline. Second one looks uh, like an abscess. Third image, it is, looks like a cystic changes with some irregularity inside and looks like a mass lesion. And the last one with enlarged lymph node and some draining sinuses reaching the skin surface. An MRI finding, it is variable, can be single or multiple abscesses, uh, sometimes ill-defined Ill area of heterogeneous segmental and regional microabscesses. And regarding kinetic uh, curves, it can be of progressive and plateau kinetics. Core biopsy, usually it is the diagnostic value, and this is some examples from the images by MRI. In this image, uh, there is a large cystic space, uh, uh, sorry, cystic lesion. And in both contrast images, there is preferred contrast enhancement and draining sinus to the skin. And this is uh, here, diffuse skin thickening, uh, ill-defined area of enhancement. This is another example. One extra minute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, the second example is can be confused with uh, cases like inflammatory breast cancer. And the last one uh, case it is like an abscess in T1, looks like hypochoic, in T2, high, uh, sorry, high, uh, high signal, in T2 looks like high uh, signal intensity, and in post contrast looks like ill defined and heterogeneous uh, peripheral enhancement. So differential diagnosis usually coming up with a breast cancer, infective mastitis, sarcoidosis, and uh, fat necrosis and wagon granulomatosis. The treatment usually conservative or surgical excision. Uh, conservative for uh, cases uh, uh, give time to recover and, uh, and uh, sometimes give immunosuppressant and prolactin lowering drugs and surgical excision for refractory cases. So in conclusion, inflammatory breast, idiopathic uh, granulomatous mastitis, it is a rare inflammatory breast condition, mimic breast carcinoma. It is usually confused by radiologically and clinically and the treatment, either conservative or surgical, and targeted ultrasound, mammography, and MRI are helping tools for diagnosis, awareness of the condition. It's give us uh, prevent delayed and unnecessary treatment, and patient shows a good response to immunosuppressant drugs and prolactin lowering. Uh, we have to remember that we are in all this together, and this is my reference. Thank you so much.